The New South Wales Department of Education and Training is the largest education department in the Southern Hemisphere. We cater for approximately three quarters of a million students. We have about 50,000 teachers and over 2,200 schools. We've tested literacy and numeracy in primary and secondary students for many years. When we turned to science testing, we were looking to do two things. We wanted to make sure that science education was on an equal footing with literacy and numeracy. We also needed to make sure that we were testing how our teaching was going with students in the early years of secondary school before they reach the critical point where they make decisions about what they will do for their careers in the future. Out of this we started the development of the Essential Secondary Science Assessment, which we call the ESSA test. The ESSA test did start life as a pen and paper test, but we always intended that it would have an online component. We wanted to replicate what students do in a laboratory in the science classroom and to test a wider range of skills and understandings, not just standard knowledge, not just the very, very simple questions. We knew when we wanted to put this test online that we were going to face some particular challenges. Um, in particular, we were going to administer this simultaneously to approximately 65,000 students in 650 schools across the whole of New South Wales, which is a state that's bigger than Texas. We worked out that there were more than a quarter of a million transactions every minute that needed to be um, supported by the server infrastructure. So we really needed a very highly scalable, um, well load balanced environment to be able to support that number of transactions. Well we worked out that to be able to provide a fully redundant system we would need something like 50 to 60 web servers and Microsoft SQL servers in place for the actual event. Like any education department we have financial constraints that we have to operate within so it didn't seem sensible to us to invest in a lot of infrastructure to deliver a test that is run once a year over a period of about half a day. So looking at alternatives, Microsoft Azure offered us a, a, a different way of looking at the problem and a way of being able to provide the service um, in a much more cost effective way. All of the Azure services are costed on an hourly basis. So we decided where we, our original design had something like 60 servers, we put in place 300 Microsoft Azure servers to deliver the environment on the day. We wanted to make sure that we had plenty of resources in place. That came to be around $40 an hour. Turn the servers on at 5 o'clock in the morning to make sure they'd all be on ready for the exam and uh, we turned them off at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So instead of um, putting in place a $200,000 build of, of web server infrastructure, by going down the Microsoft Azure route, the actual event on the day costs us something like $500. This is probably one of the first really big tests of a simultaneous use across an entire system of all students at one year level having to, do, having to access something online at the same moment, but it came through with fine colours. Feedback from schools was tremendously positive. We didn't lose a single school, nobody dropped out. Particularly in the education space, there's an, an the massive opportunity now to rethink the way we use IT and the way we put IT services in front of our students. We've been able to concentrate on building a high quality test and delivering great educational outcomes to schools and to students and we've been very happy to let Microsoft Azure actually handle the technology side.